Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, as you know, yesterday's live stream was on this particular ROM for the K20 Pro, which is MSM Extended. And this is the latest version, which was released in the month of January, and it is based on Android 11. The special thing about this particular ROM is this is based on OSS vendor. And the way and the reason we are reviewing this is because tomorrow towards the end of the stream, when the full settled down while gaming, it actually gave me a battery temperature of 36 degrees, which is really, really cool. And we were playing Playing on smooth extreme not HDR extreme but even on smooth extreme the frame were, frame rates were pretty consistent and that too without any mods or anything I just flashed the ROM and everything was great so let's actually go ahead and check all the aspects of this particular ROM as far as the review is concerned but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community go ahead and join us there and if you think the hard work is worth the effort you can support us on live streams or you can click on the join button and become a member for premium content now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going All right, so first let's have a look at the change log, the build date and all the usual stuff. Then we can check the system and all the other things. So first things first, this build is dated of 13th of January, 2021. So it's just like 10 to 12 days old. So fairly recent, the version of the ROM is 4.0. Android version is version 11. And this is a OSS based version. So it is one gigabyte. And if you go for the MIUI vendor based one, it is 750 megabytes. Why is there a difference? I am not a aware about that but you get both the variants you get vanilla for miui and oss both if we click over here that is the device change log agree and continue these are the things that they have changed so there seems to be you know quite a lot of things that have been added recently and honestly i'm pretty impressed by the way this rom has performed on the live stream and you know otherwise in my experience as well and that is the exact reason why we are actually going ahead and reviewing this one so first of all let's actually go to settings over here real quick and let's go to the about section and see the android version now you do see as i mentioned the date is 13th that means it was built on the 12th that's the name of the maintainer january security patch this is the perf kernel which is pretty common amongst uh, all the custom roms for the k20 pro so that's everything about you know the build info and stuff like that now if you go to system over here you find extended stats all right usual stuff over here over here you can check what was the last release date and stuff like that now usual android stuff over here camera sound effects and stuff so that works fine nothing to worry there next up uh, you know moving on we actually go to the stock launcher now this is something i would not say i'm exactly disappointed disappointed but yeah the you know basic launcher which is included in this particular rom is x home i think it's their own home developed launcher it doesn't have the google discover integration and uh, to me that's kind of important so if i were to use this rom as a daily driver i would definitely go ahead and you know download a custom launcher which supports that for example like launcher or nova launcher or something like that now moving on we talk about the camera situation now we have google camera go over here which works absolutely fine right so the front camera works the rear camera works everything works perfectly fine over here you do have portrait mode and all the other things but as i said in my previous video as well if you want extra clarity if you want more detail you can go ahead and try the actual full-fledged google camera port which will give you better clarity but for you know getting your job done and stuff this this port or this port or this pre-included camera works absolutely fine all right so that is the camera situation nothing to worry there you can record video and stuff like that everything is working now talking about the quick settings panel this is something that is really really colorful over here and just like resurrection remix even this has a lot of customization a small letdown over here was although i did enable fps info but uh, the fps meter did not work for me 
maybe i'm doing something wrong but yeah it did not work for me at all so yeah the cpu info and screen casting and all the other things are working absolutely fine so that was everything about the quick settings panel now actually let's go to system settings over here now you do see that i have enabled the pitch dark theme with the you know red colored accent and then we have a different bluish color of uh, gradient going on so that is the theme i am you know i have enabled and i'm using right now so you have quite a lot of customization in this rom as far as you know customization is concerned and the good thing is although the rom size is 1 gigabyte i did not notice any major stutters or major issues like uh after my Resurrection Remix review, there were a lot of people who were saying that Resurrection Remix is built for customization. That is the reason it was it will not perform well. Guys, remember these are custom ROMs and they do perform decently. Especially this one has you know impressed me a lot. Even Resurrection Remix was pretty good in gaming. Although this one, as far as gaming is concerned, was slightly better. So the system settings are you know reminiscent of Android 11. Everything is included over here. But if you look at the top, you have some something called as extensions you have theme room over here buttons decor room gestures lock screen nav bar notifications power menu status bar system and just before shooting this video i have gone ahead and dived into each and every setting of these customizations so if you're someone who likes making your phone your own you will definitely love this custom rom because there is a hell lot of customization that is available moving on if we talk about the in call ui over here as you can see this is a pretty pretty basic in call ui that you have over here and you do get a built-in call recorder as well because this is a vanilla version that we are using so everything pretty good as far as the in call ui is concerned now moving on let's look at some of the included options over here if you go to battery settings unlike fluid rom you do have smart charging you do have thermal profiles and stuff like that you do see that the battery life is also pretty pretty decent i've got around six to eight hours of screen on time and the best part when it comes to the battery life of this particular rom is yesterday we streamed for two hours and that was with wireless screen casting on and the amount of battery that we lost was 53 percent that means if you were to not use wireless screen casting you can easily play on smooth extreme at least pubg mobile for four to four and a half hours that is very very amazing battery life at least for gaming Apart from that, you have all the, you know, battery related options and everything else. But if you move on, you go to display, you see that the there is this, you know, animation going on at the top. You have all the usual options that you would need. You have DC dimming, you have tap to wake, pocket detection, screen saver and whatnot. Moving on, you have the sound situation wherein at the bottom you would always find a direct sound enhancer and all the ASP related vibration settings and everything else. So, you know, the sound settings are covered pretty well as well. Now, talking about the privacy situation, you do have the whole suit of Android 11 privacy features over here and everything is, you know, working as expected. I've not noticed any missing features or, you know, any random force closures and stuff but if you move to you know the security options over here you do have fingerprint that is the in display fingerprint scanner you do have face unlock now talking about the fingerprint scanner it is working pretty pretty fine but it is not that great as it was in rr probably that might be a oss or you know miui vendor thing i'm not sure but uh, yeah i'm not saying it doesn't work but it's a hit and miss sometimes you might encounter like you know one out of ten times you will have to re-register it to unlock the face unlock works absolutely fine as well now, as you can see, if I swipe over here, it will quickly come, the, the camera comes up and it works. Also, the always on display works. And as you can see, you do have the fingerprint that is working on always on display, night light and all the other options. So it's, you know, the security features and everything else is working perfectly fine as well. Now, moving on, we talk about the DRM info. You do see that I do have Amazon Prime Video installed over here and if you have a look at the, the DRM info application, you would see that the security level is Widevine L1. So you do get HD playback. You also see that I have Google Pay installed. That means the banking applications are working fine as well. And no, this ROM doesn't come rooted out of the box. In fact, sir, 
you know more than half the applications that you see right now are something i have installed so you know then it it is a pretty pretty debloated rom now apart from this uh, the last thing that we are left to talk about is the ram management now as you see over here i do have quite a lot of applications that are open over here in fact if you try to load pubg mobile and you just you know minimize it you do have game turbo and all the other additional features that you have on a custom rom so if we actually go and open the last application over here telegram you see so the ram management is pretty good the ram management is on point as well let's talk about the benchmarks before we actually go ahead and end this video so i just ran geekbench over here because i've sort of lost faith on antutu but yeah the geekbench run was pretty decent nothing out of the ordinary but let me tell you uh, resurrection remix for me scored above 720 points in single core and around i think 26 or 2700 points in multi core this rom does take a hit when it comes to the benchmark numbers but overall you know apart from the screen flickering when the lock button is pressed you see this so yeah there's that flicker that happens you see that so that might be a bug that is something that sort of annoyed me i don't want to see that on a premium device like the k20 pro on a custom rom but apart from that this rom has been really really solid i can definitely tell you you can use it as a daily driver if you can manage to back up and restore all your data over here so you know not many concerns for me the msm team is doing a great job there is no reason i would see you not using this as a daily driver you can do a lot of gaming on it you you can maybe try installing anx camera i have not tried that but the fact that you have google camera go and it provides decent enough quality for photos I I think it's it's pretty good. So all in all, you know, MSM extended for me is a win-win situation. It's Android 11, it is the latest security patch, it has a ton of customizations. It plays games really well and doesn't heat up. Charging works absolutely fine. So, you know, the battery backup is great. So, I don't see a reason why you should not consider installing this ROM and trying it out, trying each and every custom ROM option that is available in MSM X Extended. So, you know, big kudos to the team. I really hope they make this ROM even better and let me know in the comment section how did you find this video? Now, before we go ahead and end this video, I would like to share that today we are going to, you know, go ahead and stream on Extended ROM, not MSM Extended. extended ui is another rom that strange to x is on right now on his k20 pro and he's been saying good things about it that rom looks like oxygen os so yeah we are definitely going to try that on the live stream so that will happen at 7:30 this video went live at 7 and uh, very soon the poco f1 is coming back to the channel so let me know in the comment section what do you think until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye